Guys, do you see Finn rotating like a rotisserie chicken on the top left of my screen? Do you see that? <laughs> He's just happy to be there. God, why is Finn limp? He's like rotating me like a planet. <laughs> Cartoon Network. You guys know what I'm talking about. That TV network with all the cartoons. Well, of course, unless it's 2009, uh, then it's a channel about these things. I'm a huge fan of Cartoon Network, have been ever since I was a small little baby. And I'm sure many people watching out there feel the same. Even if you don't vibe with the recent stuff, I think everybody has an era that is their favorite. I'm sure that there's even some boomerang fans out there. Freaking Boomerang. The channel that used to play the same bumpers 5,000 times every day. I guess some people just like repetition. But anyway, yeah, Cartoon Network. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, did you know that they made a massively multiplayer online game for some reason? Because, uh, if not, it is called Fusion Fall and, uh, is very... Very weird. Compared to dumb baby stuff like Toontown, Club Penguin, and Pop Tropica, Fusion Fall was definitely the bad boy of the group. A massive crossover of nearly all of their shows, taking place in a single explorable world, and it was also set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland because of course it was. Now sure, every character was designed like they were from a how-to-draw anime book from your local library, but let's be real here, plenty of it looked great. Okay, maybe not that, or that or that, or that, oh my god. Some of it looked good, like, look, look at this, huh? Pretty good. I got like hyper fixated on this when I was a kid, okay? Just let me live my life. It was a really weird game, and honestly, it had a lot of flaws, but as a kid, it was really charming overall. Sadly, the game's servers did end up shutting down in 2013, most likely due to a lack of active new players. Since then, the Fusion Fall brand has been more or less dead, and the game has remained unplayable officially, for quite some time. However, it has become playable unofficially. There have actually been several fan-made revivals of the game supported actively online. And just like other projects like Toontown Rewritten, they're fully supported by people who just want to bring the game back from their childhood and prevent it from fading away and becoming lost media. And so, this is where I come in. A while back, me and my very cool streamer slash VTuber friend, Dollop Days, decided to take a look back in time. We got on stream together, and we played Fusion Fall, the forgotten MMO. And my god, uh, it, it was stupid as hell. Definitely fun, uh, but stupid. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm doing a- I'm gonna be doing my first squad stream today with Dollop Days. She is VTuber, very cool. Yeah, we're playing Fusion Fall today. It was pretty short-lived. Um, I played it when I was a kid and I was talking to Dollop and turns out there is a way to still play the game. There was a couple of fan recreations. Some of them got shut down. But this one, apparently, no one has given a shit. So, we're gonna play that one together! Where do I find this Fusion Fall salt, man? I don't- I don't know, it was linked to me. For all that I know, it could secretly be a Trojan. But I'm a big fan of, uh, social studies and history, so, you know, if it was a Trojan, it'd be pretty, pretty cool. You guys get the joke? Because it's like, it's like history, like a Trojan horse. Aha, <laughs> Salty, you're so funny. Oh, stop, guys, come on. Yeah, I'm not that funny, you know? I, I, you know, I might, I may have taken 15 years of my life to climb up the funny mountain and drink the funny water from, from Garfield, uh, gets real. But that doesn't automatically make you funny, you know? It's putting it in practice. Was that a Garfield gets real reference? Yes, I, I literally just said. Hello! So a little background for anybody who's unfamiliar, Fusion Fall is a game, it's an MMO that was made by Cartoon Network. And it is a big crossover of the entire Cartoon Network cinematic universe, post-apocalyptic. Which <laughs> I thought was so cool when I was a kid. You, you could put any characters in a post-apocalyptic scenario and I, I think it was badass. Yeah, literally I'm looking at like the, the, like the login screen right now. They have like blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. 
<laughs> and he's like the most anime he's ever been. He looks like he's like leading a, an army into battle. It's so funny. It's so funny. And then there's, of course, Dexter from Dexter's Lab, like front and center, who is just like an anime boy. Like... <laughs> I love, I love how silly and weird this game is. This game is just like pure, like, what the hell am I looking at? And it's the best. Here, I need to pull up my chat so mm -hmm. I can see what all of these wonderful people are saying. Is this Homestuck? Okay, closing chat. See if you can guess my password. Hint, it's my social security. I'll give you the first seven numbers. <laughs> A sweet character creation, Dr. Joke Pants. All right, that's my Dr. name. Dr. Joke, wait, Dr. Joke Pants? This world is a pretty amazing place. Mutant toddlers, imaginary friends, giant robots. Yuri Lowenthal. I am losing my mind. He's so quiet compared to the music. Yeah, the music just overpowering him. <laughs> learned that we can harness their essence. Oh, Welcome to the Open Fusion Academy server. I know this academy build is just as unstable as it was back in the day. It can be laggy, will freeze, crash often, especially yep. when warping. It has some yeah. buggy animations and textures and so on. Unfortunately, nothing can be done about any of these issues. Thank you, Open Fusion Academy server. Yeah, so it's like as realistic to the original game as possible. So it also like <laughs> yeah. crashes all the time. <laughs> I remember w when I played it. Okay, so this is is really cringy to, to remember but I remember I used to play this game a lot when I was a kid and one of the things that I did was that I was so obsessed with this game that when I went on a vacation I <laughs> I was at a hotel and they had a computer lounge <laughs> And I went on one of the dinky old computers that they had and I installed Fusion Fall and started playing. <laughs> Hell yes. And the game was insanely laggy. It ran at like two frames per second, but you know what? I I, I did it. It was incredible. Oh, I guess I, I have we have to talk to Ben again. Is that Stonehenge? You found Stonehenge? Oh Stonehenge my god, oh my god, is god over where? Here. Oh my god, that's just straight up Stonehenge. Why is Stonehenge here? <laughs> Also, where are we? Are we in like the null void? Is that what this is? It looks like it. It looks like we're in hell. I think we got sent to hell by Ben Tennyson from hit TV show Ben 10 on Cartoon Network. Watch now. That was always in his power set. Yeah, to send people to hell. <laughs> That's what he did to Vilgax. Yeah. He sent them to hell. <laughs> And if you guys Curtis don't know that, maybe reason. watch the season finale. I don't know. Yeah, that's what he. That's that's the season finale. It's it's very infamous because he had never sent anyone to hell before that, but he just kind of did it uh, in that episode. It was very strange. I'm gonna be sending you to hell, Bill Gax. Wait, what? <laughs> It's time for your first nano mission. Recently, Ooh. the fusion spawns have been acting more organized. Oh, we learned why when we found Fusion Finn hanging around. We have cornered him into the building over there. If you could take him out, your nano con. We have to corner and kill uh, Finn Adventure Time. I I I hate Finn Adventure Time. Let's let's destroy him. Oh, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him, and we're gonna kill him. I guess now is a better time than any to explain this because God knows we didn't bring it up while we were playing. Basically, in Fusion Fall, there are these little additional collectibles called nanos. Actually, I'm not really even sure if I'm allowed to call them collectibles. Maybe pets? I don't really know if they're like alive or not. Nanos are essentially just these miniaturized versions of Cartoon Network characters that you can collect throughout the game. They exist alongside their normal in-game counterparts and they give you various powers depending on how you equip them. They also look really goofy. I'm fairly sure that they have an actual explanation in the story, like they came from the future or something, but I don't really care about that. Look at this Courage Nano. Look, look oh. at this. I feel like I'd love the like extra mobility shit. So I went for the, the high jump. <laughs> look, look how terrifying it is. Like when you run and it gets close to the camera. Oh my God. <laughs> What what used to be your uh, favorite uh, Cartoon Network show? I I was really into Cartoon Network. I know this was technically like Toonami. I used to go like to my grandparents' house and I would do nothing but watch Pokemon, like like the original like Indigo League Pokemon. Like that was like my favorite. Uh, also Dragon Ball, um, Ooh, not yeah. Z. I wasn't allowed to watch Z because Z was too scary and violent. But I still did sometimes. Are you um, aware of that uh that talk show that Johnny Bravo hosted and the Dragon Ball incident? The what? The the Dragon Ball incident. I don't know are, that. Are you not aware? I'm not aware. So Johnny Bravo used to host like an actually live talk show where they would actually oh, like, animate. <laughs> 
Johnny Bravo talking and kids can call up and request uh, certain shows to be played, but they would only play shows in a 10 minute time slot. So one day somebody requested that they play an episode of Dragon Ball and that's 20 minutes. So Johnny was like, yeah. well, normally we don't do that, but I'll see what I can do. So they sped up the episode by two <laughs> times speed and they had Johnny Bravo <laughs> live narrate over it to explain what was that's happening. That's hilarious. Okay, now back on Earth, those Namex dudes are recuperating. There's that guru guy. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. That's so funny. I'm stuck. Wait, you're Help. stuck? Hold I'm up, I'm, I'm killing this evil okay, tree. Wait, Where I are you? I made it out. I made it out. Were I made we... it out. I, I literally, I jumped right here and I was perpetually falling like this. I'm not pressing any buttons right now. This game is so oh, playable. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> wait, you're actually Help. stuck now? Help. Don't worry. I will kill this bug. I'm I want to try. I want to try. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get stuck in the thing. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Oh no, how did this happen? How could this have been prevented? These Providence amateurs captured Fusion Rex and Fusion Ben for study. Of course, things didn't work out and we now need to clean things up. Fusion Rex is poisoning his contaminant area. Go take him out and get your Rex Nano. We get a generator Rex Nano. Also, are they telling me that they captured a prisoner of war and we now have to execute them? Uh, yes. Okay, just making sure. It's kind of saddens me that they didn't take full advantage of this aesthetic because, like, obviously they're gonna pick characters like Ben 10 to be, like, the the, the generals, Generator Rex, and all of the cool guys. I would have loved to see, like, Chowder be, like... Yeah, oh my god. One of the pivotal central anime characters who's, like, taking charge. Now listen up, Chowder. This is war. <laughs> and Schnitzel's just like, rada rada. Rada rada. <laughs> That's right, Schnitzel. Many war crimes have been committed. I've seen so many die. So many people <laughs> die, Schnitzel. For us. <laughs> I miss my wife, Chowder. <laughs> I miss her so much. Chowder, what have you done? Now the animators are gonna have to draw all these war crimes. <laughs> Chowder, they called the a drone strike on our location. We gotta go. <laughs> Rada! They're firing up the orbital cannon! <laughs> They're going to kill us all, Chowder! Schnitzel, you have to tell my story! Rada, rada! Rada, rada, rada! <laughs> rada, rada! Puts on a bandana and, like, rushes the Asian <laughs> ball guys. <laughs> hey, chat, which Cartoon Network character do you want to see have PTSD? Whoa, mama, I've seen so many die. <laughs> Johnny hasn't been the same since the war. You would not believe the blood on my hands. <laughs> oh. Whoa, mama. <laughs> not even these good looks can save me from this trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, like, screw trees. I fucking hate trees so much. That's yeah. why I'm killing them. I think, personally, and you can quote me on this, I think that the world needs less trees. I agree. Oh, you can trade, we can trade items, ooh. You want this sword? Uh, this sword? I, I only have crates and I sword? can't trade crates because I didn't open the crates. Or this sword? Yo, all of those swords look great. I'll accept this trade. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just take all of your swords? Yeah, I, but I have like yeah. 15 more in my inventory. <laughs> so. I was gonna say. That's who, you know who I want to see the most on the, on like, like as a general in this army is uh, uh Captain Knuckles. Oh, agreed. He'd be the worst. He'd just be like, he'd be sending child soldiers off to die just like as something to do. There's a lot of like uh, developer info about this game and like a fan art of stuff that they were going to add in. I remember they, really? they wanted to add in Toonami Tom. Oh, that would have been so cool. Uh, they were also going to add in Irwin from Billy and Mandy as an like in interactable NPC. <laughs> I, I need I need to send you because I think that you'll love this. Uh, the art that they used for Irwin is hilarious. Oh please, please! I would love to see that. Here, I'll, I'll send it to you. This is this is what he would have looked oh like. Oh my, that's like actually cute though. That's such adorable art of Irwin. He's adorable, but also it's very cursed looking. <laughs> it is. It's a little cursed, but I think it's cute. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. <laughs> hey, Mandy. Can you defeat ten skeletons and then I'll gift you a nano? If you collect 15 slimes, I'll gift you a nano. <laughs> Mandy, are you ready to learn about Materia Fusion? <laughs> I, I, I love the idea. 
of, of just cartoon characters talking about generic MMO <laughs> shit. I just got the highest loot roll, so I guess I win. <laughs> I guess I get the nano, Mandy, but uh, if you wanted, I could make an arrangement. <laughs> she just blocks him. If you suggest the game to five of your friends, then I'll uh, give you an exclusive, <laughs> an exclusive nano. But they have to sign up and play at least up to level 15. One time Raid Shadow Legends tried to oh like God. tried to sponsor me and they were emailing me and they were like, yeah, so all you have to do is you have to get like this amount of people to sign up and also you have to play the game on your own time and level up to level 10. And I was like, what? Yeah, well, that's I literally I hate Raid Shadow Legends. Every time they send me like a sponsorship email, I decline it and I tell them to take me off their email list. And then like a <laughs> month later, I'll get another one. <laughs> um, it's. Pure, pure bullshit. Oh, it's whoa. pure bullshit. Look at all these characters. Oh my God, <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> scary, scary, scary. Oh my, why are your eyes like that, dude? Dude, scary, scary, scary. Other players are just walking in front of my camera. Are these people yeah, watching they're, they're the stream right sniping. now? Are you guys stream sniping me? No, they're like, I know what they're stream sniping because this game when I was like playing through the tutorial to make sure it like worked and that we could stream it easily and it was online and stuff, I wasn't sure if it was online or not. And I had to ask Penny for help. Uh, so I had her make an account as well. And the reason I had to do that is because nobody fucking played this game. There was literally no one here. Guys, 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 let me add you to my clan. Everybody gather around me. Oh who's my God, in here. yes, make a clan, make a clan. <laughs> Let's make a clan, how do we make a clan? I feel like I'm about to start a TED talk. Like, about about fusion fall about yeah. how playing fusion fall can improve your life and increase synergy and productivity in the workplace speech 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 oh guys come on i don't want to do a speech you know i didn't have anything prepared tell us about fusion fall salty here wait i have a speech prepared if that's okay i'll just yeah go um... for it go for it <laughs> oh that. this is the game master game master Wait, I, I have a question for the Game Master. Hang on. Yeah, Game Master. Can you trap us in the game like Sword Art Online? I'm not the Game Master. I'm a Game Master. I'm a Game Master. Okay. Oh, but not can, the, but I no, can but kill you. No, but I can kill you. <laughs> Yo, I kill me. I want to see you try. Kill me. No, kill me right now. Uh, whoa, uh, whoa. Uh, no. Whoa. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Well, is that Lady Rainicorn that I just spawned? Yeah, from? she just she just dropped us off. Yeah, there she is, guys. It's Lady Rainicorn. Oh, she's, she's just like a static object. <laughs> <laughs> she's just she's just she's just there forever. She's just spitting out travelers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Please help. Wait, where where are you? Which one? I have I have I'm have the one with the oh my god, there's multiple people with the cheese head. God damn it! Yeah, I was gonna say the cheese head. I I, I assumed that you were one of the cheese heads. I'm the one with the blue 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 armor cheese head. <laughs> oh okay. my god, everybody's making the Every cheese. <laughs> everybody's spamming <laughs> cheese. Stop, stop. I like it. I want to dance. I bit press enter and then click on emo. Ooh, oh my god, look at this one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting a rug right now. I'm destroying it, I'm fucking it up. Look at my little squad behind me, everybody's dancing. Hell yes. Ooh, ooh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Salty, look at Jake. Where is Jake? Jake the dog. <laughs> Where's Jake the dog? Whoa, whoa, what is that? Scary, scary. Oh my god. Oh no. What is this? Oh no, he can't do this to me. What? He acts as a bounce pad. You can't even interact with him. He's just an object. Good lord. Jake, what happened, dude? Th this isn't right. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what I don't know what this is, but I want out. Uh, I want out. Kill it with I fire. Can't, I can't feel it. Can, but so, somebody has the Johnny Test amiibo. I'm, I'm amiibo. <laughs> Come <laughs> Hello, Finn. It is I, Jake the dog. I've been watching you, Finn. Okay. <laughs> Get into the Jake suit, Finn. Wear me like Whoa. a suit, Finn. Do it. Do it, Finn. 
Oh, Fusion Will, he has a gun arm. He has a gun? Oh my god, he has a gun. He has a shield. The voice actor for Wilt is one of the only people that I got like tongue tied when I first met. Because normally I don't Aww. really like, I, normally I don't really care, but I don't know that he was just so chill. I, I think it's Phil Lamar. Yeah. Phil Lamar is just such a cool dude. That's like, that's really sweet. Yeah. You bet, you bet. I got, I got all tongue tied. I was like, I was like, uh, 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 you're cool. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> I know. You're like the best. That's I can great. get a schnitzel rocket launcher. <laughs> yes! I, I want that. Yes, please. Yes, please. Is that father on the left here? What? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> I was tired of you. He said he wants to send me on a dangerous mission, but he doesn't actually have a mission for me. This what is... a fucking liar. Yeah, this is fucking bullshit. This is why we don't trust adults. All they do is Yeah, let I don't us trust down. adults at all. All adults yeah. are basically just liars and, yeah. and, and definitely all evil. You know who's an adult? Jeffrey Bezos. Oh my god, you're right. I didn't even think about that, yeah. but he totally is. <laughs> Here it is. Foster's home for imaginary friends. Foster's home of all the fucked up shit that you can do. Is Cheese the Raid boss? Oh, look at that. They even have the garden in the back. Oh, yo, Mr. Harrington's back here. A pleasure to see you. Rubbish, I say. A fusion monster cannot adopt an imaginary friend. The idea is preposterous. Oh my god, that is exactly what he would say if he was in post-apocalyptic world of fusion fall. <laughs> Jawbreaker. Yeah, I'm gonna get the jawbreaker. Or, ooh, run. No, I'm gonna get the run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The way he was running at the camera just looked like he's going to beat you to death. That's what he said. I'm Eddie, and I'm gonna beat you to death. Hey, guys, I'm gonna come and beat you to death. Whoa, that was like a really good impression. What the Thank fuck? You. Hey, guys, I'm gonna come beat you to death. Eddie, no! So now, now that we have a, bu a bus full of troops, how did you guys get drafted? <laughs> My game crashed. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Normally I'd plug my own stuff here, but this time around I want to encourage people to go check out Dollop Stream. You might know her from the Snapcube Sonic fan dubs, but if not, Dollop is an extremely funny and genuine Twitch personality, and I really hope that I get the chance to stream with her again soon. She's super cool, super hilarious, and if you loved her in this, you'll definitely love her over on Twitch. Check her out at twitch.tv slash dollopdays. Link can be found in the description.